Welcome, in case. everybody, to the live cast. <laughs> oh, did you actually scratch it? Yeah. No, I didn't scratch it. I deleted it because that doesn't <laughs> exist anymore because I can't. What doesn't exist anymore? I don't know. <laughs> Hash yeah. browns. Welcome to the yeah, live cast. Yeah, stole them all. I'm here with several, and by several I mean a few guests. Okay. One of which being Monica. Hello. Tiffany. Hi. And Greg. Yo. Greg's been on the podcast for three weeks now. Yeah, yeah. They can't get enough of me. <laughs> <laughs> You look so defeated. What's everyone been up to this week? <laughs> you were like, fuck. Um, honestly, not a whole lot. Yeah. So the Dark Souls Food DLC is coming out pretty soon. and uh, I thought I've it was been, out today. It came out like, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah <laughs> you are Tuesday. indeed correct. Tuesday for everyone so, who's listening. Yeah, but I was, I was thinking about that. So like in preparation to the DLC coming out, I created another character and I'm currently going through Dark Souls 3. Uh, I have no clue. I've been on sort of like social media blackout about the whole thing, so I don't know where the DLC is. I don't know if it's the beginning of the game, end of the game, end of the game, which is always the interesting thing about Souls DLC, because you buy it and every other game is like, oh, play the DLC here from the title screen. Dark Souls is, go find the DLC you bought. <laughs> so I'm just kind of slowly working my way through while juggling all the other things I got to do in my life. And uh, I feel that. I feel that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like because I've been trying to like or when we first like started doing life cast stuff I was like oh yeah I, you know I'll play games I'll be like a reviewer that'll be cool but I'm just like damn nigga I can't even afford like one I can't even afford half the games that come out <laughs> yeah and, like I can't, I can't like stomach $60 for a game anymore like yeah. unless it's a Souls game or like I don't know. Unless it's a, I like that. That's the one exception. Yeah, that's the one. I like, I'm contractually obligated to play Souls games at this point. Oh, in your life cast contract? In my life like cast the one contract, you yeah, the one us? I signed for us. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you are a blood contract. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, we it was couldn't pretty... afford paper, so we just wrote it on blood and skin. <laughs> yeah, we we couldn't afford ink, so we just kind of you know improvise. Yeah, improvise. I'm gonna I, turn this game down a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to level this later, but like we were really blowing out. Whatever, it's yeah. fine. Mm. But um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right, all right. But um, <laughs> so it's I I just, I just want to play more games, but like yeah. I ain't got enough time of the day, like because I want to like because capitalism sucks, right? Capitalism. I mean, capitalism. Capitalism is fine. <laughs> it's more like people. It's like the same thing with communism. Like communism yeah. is like great, but people suck. Yeah. I prefer yep. cap I prefer <laughs> capitalism over communism personally yeah. because okay. working for stuff, it, it gives people. Like a, a motive. goal, like a motive yeah. and a goal in life, because it's just like, oh, I'll just work for my fellow man. It's like, yeah, that sounds cool and all, but like, sounds real gay to me. <laughs> <laughs> she could say that. She could say, that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> let, let's let's not go into capitalism versus communism right now. But like, can we go into? Right. Let's not. <laughs> all right. So, but like, I prefer socialism. <laughs> now you know where my political views stand. Kill the burn. People on the internet preferring <laughs> socialism. Get out of town. What? No, I just yeah. No, but uh, so I had this conversation with my mom the other day actually, and today. What like? Like socialism versus communism versus capitalism. What, what does your mom lie? My mom lies more towards socialism because she grew it grew up in Armenia, for the first fifteen years of her life, while it was still under Russian communism. So like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, we were discussing like this whole like police brutality thing. We've been listening to a lot of NPR recently. So we were discussing like this police brutality thing and she was like, oh yeah, it's way different. Like everywhere else in the world where you're literally, no matter what race you are, you're terrified of the police, <laughs> especially in like, you know, a police state like yeah. communist Russia was and probably still is, at least when she was there. Um, not, not that I'm like condoning police brutality it's just like because she takes classes for like a master's degree yeah like at a few like a couple classes per semester i guess and there's someone from south africa in one of her classes and like that's where this whole like conversation kind of stemmed from yeah so yeah it's just being exposed to like different cultures and like different people who have been in different cultures yeah it's weird i like it yeah, exposing like, yourself to multiple worldviews is like the best thing you can do for yourself. Yeah, that got really deep. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, well, I'm broke as five fuck. Five minutes deep into this podcast. <laughs> oh, this I'm, is a pretty diverse podcast, may I add? Oh, yeah. We got a white person. Hey, I'm Armenian. I'm Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern person. 
I knew that. <laughs> no, you didn't. I'm not a racist. <laughs> but, um, and so... I mean, like, I won't admit that I am Caucasian. I mean, I will admit that I am Caucasian. Wait, I'm an English that, major, too. Isn't that white, then? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I have light skin. So am I racist? Everyone's racist. Everyone's, Everyone's racist, racist to an racist. extent. Ah. Yeah. But we talk, we talk about is racist. Yeah. yeah, we talked about oh, this yeah, last yeah. week. Yeah. Everybody's got a little bit of racism in them. I have a lot. Yeah, you got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, I'm broke as fuck. And I was I kinda wanna like when we first started, I wanna kinda be like a game reviewer type thing. Yeah. But then I quickly realized. And then I'm you broke go to that fuck. like free section on Steam that's like what oh, yeah. came out Free-to-play. this week. <laughs> yeah. It's real bad because like, like I wanted to get to like I haven't I I haven't gotten to Deus Ex, I probably won't. Yeah. I haven't gotten to Uncharted 4, well, probably like, won't. Yeah. I haven't gotten to, like, all these, like, games that will be, like, they'll be in, like, Game of the Year discussions, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, my favorite game was 105 I was able to buy this year, most yeah. of which are indie games. <laughs> I have one AAA game in in uh, Dark Souls 3. I've, I've also played Masquerade, uh, Fury. Uh, that's That might even be it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to have a great played, goody like, list. I've played Fury. <laughs> Oh, Fury. I played No Man's Sky. Oh, that's that's <laughs> definitely going to the Game of the Year uh-huh. list. <laughs> game of the Year shit list, more like. Mm. like. It might be in your top five, because <laughs> you only played four <laughs> games. Played four games. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What have you guys been doing this week? Tiffany and or Monica? You guys can both talk at the same time. It's okay. You go first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy crap. Okay, I'll talk if you're not going to talk. Go so today ahead. has been a decisive day for Tiffany. No. So Tiffany's pack- always indecisive. No, though. that's not true. The okay, world. at PAX last year, we decided, <laughs> we timed how long it took you to make a decision. Oh, well, yeah, uh, uh, Adam told me that someday. It was like half an hour at one point. No, it was eight minutes. Mm. <laughs> uh, Adam told me it was 15 minutes. <laughs> what? To, He's a liar. To, to what decision? <laughs> It's just like, like a literal yes or no. Uh, like, yeah, should like, we go do this thing? Yeah, I mean, Adam asked her, like, oh, you want to go eat? And she's like, I don't know. But I also want to wait for my friend. And then he's like, okay. We still love you, Tiffany. Uh, we roast you because we love you. Yeah. Aww. You're my adopted daughter, after all. Wait, I thought you were my biological mother. Oh, fuck. <laughs> she, we're f- no, we're fucking up the timeline. Jake's my adopted son. Yes. Yeah, you got him mixed up. I'm fucking racist. Wait, no, I I thought... (laughs) Wait, no, weren't you adopted? I thought Rich was your biological mom. No, No. I'm I'm her biological mom. I gave her up, Rich adopted her, and then I got her back because Rich was a bad mother. I thought I abandoned her. (laughs) You both abandoned her? Yeah, Oh, Oh, yeah, you and Rich were like her adoptive parents. Oh, so I'm not even your... No wonder I left you. (laughs) That makes a lot of sense. (laughs) Now, see, I came in like two years. Backstory to this is like, we have this just... Fucked up family tree. I don't know where the yeah. paper is the, 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 the best thing is, like, so, like, it I was growing. I was outside yeah. of the VGA for, like, probably a year or something. I would just show up every once in a while. And so I just came in, like, you, you about a in year into this, into this fucked up game of house. And then I was suddenly, I was suddenly Tiffany's father. You were suddenly like everyone's estranged father because you didn't come in so often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah, I just had a whole bunch of kids and I just showed up after they all became, uh, you know, famous basketball players. Oh, but how it all started was when we were making the D&D thing and our characters, we needed help and shit. And then, like, Rich, you, and me were the last three standing while sitting. And and then, like, I, I just said, oh, Mom, I mean, Rich is my mom, and then you're my dad. You started this. Yes. I do not remember that. <laughs> I do. I don't remember it either, but, like, its effects are lasting. Yeah, and we slept, like, so we had four twenty hours of sleep. I mean, what? like, four what? hours, 20 minutes to sleep. I vaguely remember that. I don't remember that at all. Was I there? Oh, no, no, no. This was, like... Okay, that's why I don't remember Yeah, that. Okay. I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember yeah, the mom they, and they dad thing, but I do remember me. trying to mm. go to sleep so we could get 420. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> four hours and 20 minutes 420 nap it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Anywho. 420. Uh-huh. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. Anything uh, else? Uh, so, so, yeah, um... Past week, I've been keeping up Pokemon news. A demo came out last week yeah. on a Tuesday. Lit. Lit. Um, and then um, Lit su- Sunday, I went to my first Pokemon pre-release. Mm. It's oh, yeah. Did you go with Adam? Yeah, with Adam and Andres. Okay. 
Uh, it, we went in Salem. Yeah. It, it was, like, pretty cool. Like, ev- everyone's, like, super nice. Everyone knew each other. Like, oh, you can do this and stuff. We got, like, seven packs of cards for, like, 25 bucks, which is pretty good shit. Yeah. Like, what's special about this set is the reprint of the first set. Yeah. But, like, a little bit. They changed a little bit so that it, it can keep up with the uh, with the new stuff. Yeah. Because, like, so. it, it used to be super weak and be like, <laughs> oh, this, this kid died one hit. Yeah. Like, I, I love it. I, I will go again. It, it was a really cool experience. Like, overall. And, yeah, like, what, what else I did? I did a Pokemon. I did another Pokemon. <laughs> You did uh, some more Pokemon. Oh, yeah, and I'm writing down a list of shit. Because, like, I- I'm looking into the data mining shit. Like, I'm not supposed to say this stuff, so so secret, <laughs> secret, secret <laughs> to people who go, oh, no, spoilers. And, yeah, like, um, the only thing I'm mostly interested about Sun and Moon is balls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They it, finally have new balls. Well, only one, oh. according to the data mining. But, like, there's been rumors where you can bring back Kurt Sucky balls. Because, like, you can buy them in Sun and Moon. <laughs> like, <laughs> His balls did suck. Yeah, they're terrible. But the aesthetic is real good, though. <laughs> Yeah, I remember I was, I was, I think I was playing Heart Gold or Soul Silver, yeah, and yeah. you got to make the balls again. I'm like, these are all garbage. Yeah, yeah, like, it takes him, like, 25. like, yeah, <laughs> like, like, for me, it took, like, three days, like, because I, I, I couldn't tell time as I was younger. Yeah. Like, he said, like, be back in one day, like, oh, really? Mm. Okay, I'll be back in one day, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I come back, it's like, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet, come back in one day, it's like, what the fuck? I, I come back another day. So he just like here you go this low quality low quality single ball. Now you just like, one ball. Yeah, just one ball per ball, like per night. <laughs> yeah, per one ball per ball. Yeah. Yeah, this is some pretty good shit. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just can't wait for Sun and Moon and put in thousands of hours into it. So Tiffany, have you decided what you want to talk about today? <sighs> <laughs> yes. Not game related. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. You should We're tell the, life you just the story today we had. We just, we just, we just talked about capitalism versus communism. Huh? Oh. So you can talk about whatever. Filber. Oh. Uh, 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 well, I finally found a porn video that I enjoyed to watch. I can say that, right? Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Don't, like, direct us to it, but, like, uh, oh, I'm no, glad no. that you enjoyed it. Yeah. HTTP. <laughs> my, my, only question, my only question is, you said you finally found one. So you've been, you've been like, on a quest <laughs> to, to find a porno that like, you enjoy. Okay, so, like, Tiffany, you got huh? some dedication. Yeah, like, so what's your favorite category? <laughs> rough. Oh, man. Just rough? Let us. Um, kink shaming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm kink same. Uh, kink saming. <laughs> kink same. It's um, like for the longest time, I've been bored of watching porn. That's obviously. great. <laughs> Thank you. Are, are you are you comfortable with this? Maybe not in so much detail, mm-hmm. but like I, I will okay. Keep it very general. Thank you. Vaguely. So like yes. you didn't like watching porn until you found this one video. Yes. <laughs> Because that's really general because, enough. Because I have black girls in it, am I right? Well, I mean, I, I like well, that, that would be with an ebony. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> shiny! Wait, what? You got a shiny, shiny! In the demo? Oh my god! <laughs> no, not in the demo. That that would be terrible. <laughs> oh crap! Shiny! What's it a shiny of? Uh, sparrow. sparrow. Oh. <laughs> I haven't had a shiny in like. Two games. No, that's fine. This is shinies, like, and that's like first generation. So all the shinies in first gen are garbage. Was he just green? <laughs> I'm throwing a luxury ball. Oh. So, all right. Sorry, I didn't so, mean to interrupt, but huh? I, I just didn't expect to have a shiny. Oh no, that's cool. It's just pornography. <laughs> well, like, recently the bondage category has been really stale. Really? Like, <laughs> it, it really got downhill. Like, to the point where you find, like, when you 
click on top rated, you find shit that's like two years old. Yeah. Like, sin, sin here, <laughs> apparently the only motherfucker who doesn't watch Bondage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it like, breaks into that vanilla shit. <laughs> yeah, like, my, I'm my a basic favorite, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like, my favorite part in um, porn, uh, especially Pornhub, is when they do, um, like, joke stuff. Like Cornhub? Like, yeah, 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 Cornhub. That, that was my favorite corn part. <laughs> like, That's I, like Ohio. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just Cornhub. Like Cornhub where they just show like corn. Like you know how you get like a little action figures and pretend they're like uh, like banging each other. But they, they were doing that with corn. <laughs> they have like two corns so just good. slap it against each other. And it's, it's quality. And people just watch it. And then people like uh, write reviews and say, oh, like, this is, is some steamy corn action here. <laughs> and my, my, fa- my favorite thing about Pornhub is the uh, the comment sections. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, where, yeah, where, yeah, Where people will ask for, like, legit advice about, like, some yeah, real yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they'll just, like, answer. It's like, you know, I've been feeling real down recently. It's like, you know what, man? Just keep trucking on. <laughs> you know? Like, I remember they stream Fallout 4. They're like... <laughs> They stream Fallout 4. Like, like the, there, there's been Minecraft. Yeah, oh. like, it, the, yeah. they stream it, then they put in, like, um, uh, the caption as, like, oh, m- I'm gang banging this whole, like, noob team. <laughs> then, <laughs> then there's, yeah, like, I've, a I've guy shooting fight- everyone. Yeah, I've seen some, like, fighting game clips where it's, like, it's like young blonde gets like <laughs> destroyed by a huge black guy. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just, like, Street Fighter 5 or something. <laughs> 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 So, speaking of um, capitalism versus communism, I found out the science behind slob squatting today. (laughs) There's a science? (laughs) Yeah, how much strength you need to not bust your ass. No. (laughs) Like, (laughs) like I was... My mom and I, again, we were listening to NPR on uh, the way over here. I was coming into town today. And I was trying... We were listening to this comedian explain like jokes like you know the classic like the science of comedy yeah the science of comedy and like why we don't as a culture really have jokes with punchlines anymore especially on the internet and everything yeah um and uh, fuck I lost my entire train of thought slob squatting science slob squatting science Science. oh yeah and I was trying to explain memes (laughs) to my mom (laughs) I I can't even explain memes to myself (laughs) and like I came up with slav squatting as an example, and it just happened to be, like, something that she had to, something to say about, because she did live in Armenia for a while, and I was like, you know, they'll squat in a tracksuit with vodka. She's like, no, that actually happens, because <laughs> you can't just, like, go to the park and, like, hang out because there are no benches, and if there are, they're probably shitty because it's communism. <laughs> My mom didn't say, like, these exact words, yeah. but that was the gist, you know, like, you can't sit on the ground because it's dirty and cold because it's fucking Russia. <laughs> so, you know, you'll squat, you'll make a fire, and have a shot. Yeah. That's so sad. <laughs> because of communism. Because of communism. <laughs> oh, man. I, like, I was trying so hard to keep it together <laughs> because, like, I know it's, like, you know, uh, communism isn't, like, a joke. Yeah. But like, like slob squatting but like so, <laughs> slob squatting is because it's so iconic. Yeah. That's what memes do. They ruin things. Yeah, they really do. But you know, yeah, I love them. Yeah. That's that's why slob squatting is a thing cuz you know, you you're cold, you like hunch together to distribute like, your body. Like, like little penguins. Yeah. <laughs> Russians are penguins confirmed. <laughs> but yeah, we've talked a lot about Russia today. Not enough. Mm, probably not. Very embarrassed, am I right? All right, what else is on the docket? The docket? If you guys don't have anything to say, I got some news. Wait, yeah. I got a question. What should I name my shiny sparrow? Uh, Vero. That, that's illegal. It is? You can't name a Pokemon another Pokemon. You can't? So oh, you're going so by VGC rules? Yeah. Name it Reginald. Oh. What? Well, name if you, it if Reginald. you call him Vero and then just evolve him, then we'll be fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> but that's all, you should call him Arceus then, <laughs> or call him a Pokemon no one would Just ever play. Just call him Desk. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, change. Desk. I like Desk. Spare change. Yeah. Oh, spare change is good. Oh yeah. All yeah, right. he does look like spare a shitty change. poor bird. Wait, it's, <laughs> it's a she. She looks like a shitty poor bird. Spare. 
Yeah, she, she looks ugly. It's very shiny. That's rude. Well, she's shiny. Um, I mean, like, yellow. Oh, uh, oh, oh yeah. Well, like, uh, like, I always have a, like, I can blend in the most. What? Yeah, I can blend in the most. Are you talking about skin color? Yeah. What the fuck? (laughs) You can blend in the most? Like, what do you mean? Like, in a crowd? Yeah, in a crowd. Oh, okay. Are you short? Yes. (laughs) Fuck you. That certainly helps. Like, uh, people don't approach me because I look fucking young to them. Like, they go on the awkward, like, Oh my god. Is she gel bait or not? And then I go, hey, how's it going? Like, you got a nice doggy? Like, oh, yeah. Like, get away from me. Like, <laughs> like, even though I may use it to my advantage, but, like, okay, but back to the skin color thing. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm legally drunk, though. Same You're here. legally drunk? Yeah, because I haven't slept very well in the past few days. Mm. Oh, okay. So go, like, one hour, two hour. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So, oh, so like there there have been instances where if I just mention my last name to people or say I'm Hispanic, that uh, yeah. yeah yeah like um mm-hmm. that that's how I, I didn't got job like the job for a job interview before oh yeah like I that's came I in fifteen minutes early I I did there like the person loved me and then I said oh like um then she looked at my race thing like oh you're Hispanic like yeah and then, oh I thought you were this like oh. And then the black guy came in three hours late to his interview, and then he got the job. Um, <laughs> he got the job, like, oh, you racist shitty. mofo. That's yeah. hilarious. There's something not so Sue obvious them. about it. So the black people don't know how to be racist. They don't know how to do like white people. White people yeah. would not let you know that the yeah. reason they didn't hire you was... <laughs> they're, they're, they're probably afraid of him. You do not hire people when you're afraid of them. That's usually what they do. He passed his intimidation check. Yeah. He he rolled so he's like, motherfuckers better hire me. I'm gonna find your family. He's like, yes, sir. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, sir. Unless you drop that (laughs) mixtape. It is lit, fam. We we do people actually like approach you guys? Well, no. I've been approached by a lot of people. I I get I get approached by like crazies but other than that I have never been approached by someone on the sidewalk that's surprising like maybe because I don't walk around a lot maybe that's why I'm out of weight out of out of the way she's missing weight <laughs> <laughs> she woke up one day and there was just like a chunk of her missing she's like where does yeah. it go yeah oh, there's my leg that was my arm um but yeah uh let's see um yeah yeah, uh, mm-hmm. the, the, there's more. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want to divulge? What's that? Do you want to say more? Oh. <laughs> yeah, Because it's possibly. 5.50. Oh, yeah. 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 You guys have class. Let's get to yeah. some news. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, so, I have three news stories. Uh, one of which being the Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm... I completely forgot that happened between Yeah, this. right? It, it happened feels like such a long Thursday? time ago. Friday? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm they, really excited for it because, like, I don't know. I like the Wii U, but, like, if they're going to port... It all depends on if they're going to port Wii U games over to the Switch. Because the will. Wii U's... Yeah, the Wii U's lifespan was really short. Yeah. So if they do that, then, you know, it makes it worth it to buy a Switch. And, like, there's the argument that, you know, you don't want to play games, like that are meant for your TV, like, on the go. Yeah. But, like, I personally would. Yeah. I mean, I definitely would prefer to sit down on the yeah. couch, but, like, fuck. <laughs> like, I don't know. As per- personally, for me, like, I like I have a big family, and so, like, the main TV of my house isn't mine, which mm-hmm. is one of the reasons that we use... Uh, Gamepad. The Wii U gamepad was so cool because yeah. you could play specific games like without having to hog the TV. Yeah. Which is really fucking sick. So this is just like, is always that. It's not like a function. It's just like you could just take it and then play it yeah. next to the person who's watching Netflix or something. So like just that functionality is dope. And also like, okay, so when I'm home, I either I gotta be 
usually doing something important while I'm traveling. That's a waste of time. So now, you know, that problem I was saying I was having is that I don't have time to buy, I don't have enough money to buy or to play the games. <laughs> I could do it while commuting instead of watching yeah. Crip videos yeah. for the 100,000th time. <laughs> Guess what? It's pretty good. Oh, I'm salty. Fuck mages. Fuck shaman. I could play hey, a mages triple are pretty, Mages and shaman are pretty good in Shadowrun, okay? <laughs> That's why you geek the mage first. Ooh. I sound so stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, 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 but the other things was d during the Switch uh, commercial, which was pretty good, barring a few like, okay, the only reason you're able to go to a party with a Switch in your hand and not get rid of Koopas because you're fucking pretty as hell. Most people don't get to just walk up and be like, oh, we're having a social gathering on top of a, a, top of a fucking group. I brought my Switch. I'm not... <laughs> hey, I bring my Nintendo 3DS to social That's gatherings That's different. That, that is like the thing in your pocket as far as yeah. this thing's like a bit not larger in girl than pockets. that. Yeah, it's just like... <laughs> She's just holding it in her hand. So Everybody's like, it. and then she's like hugging people with like one arm, and the other switch is still in her hand. It's like, bitch, put down your tablet. That's what people will be saying. I'm like, bitch, put. But yeah, uh, I see memes of that specific. Scene. <laughs> so like fucking Sharon brought her Nintendo again. <laughs> we're we're, we're having drinks, drink. Sharon. We're conversing. But um, the one thing, the one thing that uh, uh, that I well, there's two things about the switch. The reasons I'm excited about it was one, in the reveal trailer for the switch. They showed esports. Oh, yes, yeah. I hate Skyrim, but they oh, showed esports. They showed esports, which is they acknowledged it. Which is more, it's more than just acknowledging it because it's like you can have like oh like you have Reggie go up and spew his bullshit. Like we at Nintendo are thinking heavily about supporting esports, but no, this was like we were shooting a trailer. Yeah, and everyone signs off on these trailers, so it's like what the, the things they were thinking of including included esports. So yeah. I, I think that shows a lot of confidence in the sort of direction they're moving. And the second thing that I'm super excited about was their list of third-party support. Because yes. all I've been saying is Nintendo has the best first-party games. Literally all they're missing is third-party support. So yeah. if they can just make a console where they get third-party support, then they like automatically have the best console, like bar none. Because yeah. all that matters at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what your gimmicks are. All that matters is what the games you have to play. Yep. And another, the third thing I was excited <laughs> about was on that same list of third party developers there, there was a From specific software. name that got your boy extra hard <laughs> <laughs> and it was From Software <laughs> for those who don't know From Software I'm like just gonna me. stop <laughs> From Software is the guys who make Dark Souls oh it's the guys that make Dark Souls <laughs> it's the guys what? that make Dark Souls <laughs> um, but yeah it's cartridge based which which might actually hurt the, the Wii U like Cross compatibility thing. Yeah, that's I feel the like only thing I feel I'm like thinking. they might do because like we the Wii U shop well, has like digital versions of yeah. lots of games. Yeah, so I, I think they're I figure they're just gonna too. like yeah. you're gonna be able to like download the digital yeah, games. Same but, engine. Yeah. Yeah. And they're recently making uh, ports for the 3DS. Oh, uh, they are Super Mario Maker. Okay, but and where's my Majora's Mask port? You haven't said Majora's Mask yet. She Majora's just started. Mask. <laughs> yeah. It should be the first thing out of her mouth. <laughs> like, uh, the port they're doing from the Wii U's, um, yeah. Super Mario Maker and Yoshi's Woolly World. Okay, those are two games I really want to play. Yeah, so you can play on the go next year. Yeah. And Super like, Mario Maker. Like, those are two Maker games I really want to take this on the go. This December. I just want to have my video games with me all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And what I really love about the Switch, even though I know it will have a sucky battery, like, yeah, th <laughs> the most I can think of is three hour lifespan, but I'm okay with that. The 3DS yeah. has five hours. So, yeah. like, it used to be 12 I mean, like, hours on the DS. Yeah. Then it cut back to five hours. I had to adjust to that. I think the, the XL had more like eight. Yeah. yeah. But, but then as you keep charging, it will go back to five. Yeah, mine has like three now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just I mean, I, for for me, that's like more than enough because yeah. it's like you just bring a charger, I commute, and I have one of the longer commutes for people. Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like I commute, I take like an hour, hour ten minutes. Yeah. And then oh, yeah I'll yeah, probably still be good. Time. Yeah. And, yeah, that, and, and then I, I come in, I charge it, and then I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> so and unless you're going cross country, but even then, half the time you're going on like one of those nice buses that have plug-in things, yeah. or you're on a plane, or like you're driving, yeah. interacting with your friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you have to just like, screw your friends. <laughs> and then, you're, and then your friends, your friends are all playing their Switch, and you're sitting there trying to sing the song. Or like you're singing. sitting there driving. And it's like, it's... wow, I wish I could play video games right now. <laughs> That's where we need self-driving cars. Yep. I can't wait for the future. I guarantee you, robot cars like today are better than how I drive. Yep. Yeah. So like, like I think this is like some random statistic that I read one time. So take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. But Google, they're driving self-driving cars, like driving over a million miles. 
collectively, all four of them, have only been in like four accidents. <laughs> yeah, I heard about this, and all of them were from people like hitting the cars. And all of them were from <laughs> other people hitting the cars. <laughs> <laughs> like that is an insane statistic. So yeah. I am really excited. Self-driving for self-driving cars, cars will also solve traffic problems. Yes, it will reduce yes. traffic problems. It will reduce <laughs> traffic problems. You'll be traveling at a reduced speed because you'll be. Sl- but like you'll be able to, like the thing is, I think for me at least, getting to work on time, you'll be able to work in the fucking car. Yeah, yeah. you could just like, fucking chill. I could, I could like. Oh I could, I we could, could, I mean, we could do so much activities. I know. We, we, we could go game chasing and then record the podcast on the way. That would, I am buying a self-driving car this instant for that. <laughs> All right, it's like seven. <laughs> donate to our Patreon so we could afford a self-driving car. <laughs> <laughs> the lease is like $7,000 a month probably. All right. Oh my God, I have to vomit actually after saying that don't, number. Don't vomit on the equipment. <laughs> I need to collect myself. I legitimately had a wave of anxiety after saying that number because mm. that's a lot of money to lease a car for. Yes. That's okay. There's some empty boxes over there. Collected. Here. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, and it has a March 2017 release date. That's mm, been known yeah. for a while. The Switch. And Not the driving car. <laughs> no, like, they're, they're, they're playing risky. Yeah. They announced the trailer now, but they only plan to advertise games in January. I mean... That's better than, like, advertising it for a long time and, like, yeah, not but, delivering. Like, <laughs> people need more than three months, like, to plan on buying something. Oh, I'm already like, planning on buying it. Like, yeah, I'm already putting like, money away uh, for it. Yeah, like, for games and so, like, we don't know how much this thing costs. Yeah. Yeah. And it's probably going to be three or four hundred. Four hundred is probably, a bit of a stretch. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But I think four hundred is, I, I'm guessing four hundred, because four hundred mm-hmm. is, like, what most of the other consoles came out yeah. and launched yeah. were. And I know Nintendo generally likes to try to go cheaper, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel but like, like they kind of have to. This is like this bleeding one. edge. Yeah. And hopefully Cringy. it's not like <laughs> garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because like, because I mean, if it, me, cause if it is cheaper, like the, if, if it's any cheaper than 400, then I figure the tech is going to be like actually really bad. Yeah. And I kind of want it to be at least on mm-hmm. par with the PlayStation 4 yeah. and yeah. Xbox One. Just so like, because like the the problem with the the only reason these games don't have third party support is not because they're not selling it's, well. It is their specs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's the specs. Yeah. So yeah. It, it takes too much time to and downgrade the games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the Nintendo don't care about specs. Yeah. They, they used to back in the nineties. Yeah. Because yeah. that's like, why you sold your games. Son. Yeah, yeah. That, that's I feel like they gotta compete. They're gonna start caring a lot more with the NX, especially if they want to have that third party support. At least I hope they do. They should, but they haven't had third-party support for a long time. Yeah. So Nintendo is Nintendo, yeah. and they take forever to sort of... They're, they're just, like, stuck in the past. So hopefully with, like, newer management, and mm. maybe that'll change. All right, all right. But it's hard to tell. Yeah. They just need some young minds up in there. That's hey, all hire do. me as community manager. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I love everything about should the I Switch. Yeah. Uh, cool. it, especially with Splatoon, you can use a different controller instead of a screen. Yeah. Like, you can just take it on the go and yeah. so on. You can play Splatoon with your friends, probably in split-screen uh, mode. Yeah, like, no, not split-screen mode. Because that would be pretty good. Since you have a respective, like, um Yeah, if you switch. each have a Switch. Yeah. But, like, it has the two controllers on the side. Yeah. So if you had split-screen, you could do that. True. Like, I just like, because I'm so used to, like, oh, I go, go back to base by touching the screen. Yeah. Like, you're so used to that and so forth. Oh, yeah, will I have touch-screen? No, be because, um, well... In a way, yeah, because it's a touch screen. But like for that game, they show it won't. Okay. It won't be touch screen because the people are just like, oh, put put it back and then grab an actual controller to so oh, actually yeah. play the game. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> like, cause like when I play on my Wii U, that thing lasts like thirty minutes yeah. to an hour. Yeah. And then after that, oh, I gotta plug this in, so I gotta pl- stop playing because there's no plug nearby. <laughs> Which is terrible, you know? I have, like, a hundred plugs next to my all my shit. Yup. I just have, like, one room with, like, all the technology in the house, which is really bad if, like, a fire <laughs> happens or something. <laughs> so they have a short yeah. circuit. So like, the like, fire turbo comes fucked. from the yeah. electronics. Turbo fucked. fucked. Okay, so peace out, fans. All right. Yeah, um, Monica and Tiffany are leaving, so it's just going to be me and Greg for this rest yeah, of the so remainder so of the podcast. Oh, shit, I'm cool getting interviewed. Now, yeah, you're getting interviewed. <laughs> Yeah. About the two other news stories and these questions Wait, that we did have. You Wait, so, that so, hand? so, what are the no, other two tape. news stories? Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to talk about Sombra mm-hmm. and um, the voice actor strike that is happening under SAG AFTRA. Okay. 
Good, good luck with that. Thanks. <laughs> good luck. Now you know what's up for the rest of the podcast. Yeah. Spoilers. 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 And we and we do have questions. Uh, one on Facebook and one on Twitter. Wow. We'll get to those in a little bit. Don't forget to close the door. Did you just touch Greg's titty? Oh, yes. he has a keyboard on his shirt. Oh. Yeah, she likes to touch me for some reason. <laughs> That's weird. You're her adoptive dad. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Overwatch ARG. I'm working on an article about this, first <laughs> of all. Uh, second of all, Sombra's not out yet. Yeah. 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 I like ARG sometimes. Yeah. But I don't like when it becomes, like, an a extra to your game. Like, just kind of make your game interesting. Yeah. And make it, like, retain people's attention. Yeah, I, I, I don't like I don't like it as a marketing tool, but like yeah. the lots of like uh, like not necessarily indie horror games, like just like these like, lots of like indie games like that are kind of mind fucky. They'll like go to like some sort of like ARG type things. Yeah, and that's that, really cool because it's like you, it's like it's like you're because it's like a psychological effect. Yeah. like Mr. Robot does it really well, not like with their ARG. Yeah, but they have a lot of Easter eggs hidden in like every episode that like people are still trying to decode. So, like, that's an example of it done really well. Yeah, Plus, like, like, that shows about, like, the computer being everywhere. Yeah. You know? It makes sense. So, it's like when, I don't know, when, when you give your, like, community something to, like, munch on, I think that's a good feel for it. But when it's like this, it's like, okay, we get a, a new character is coming out. Like, that's what it is. Like, we know what the punchline is. Yeah. So that we're, we're not... <laughs> There's nothing to really discover. It's more like, oh, they have secrets for us. I guess we'll figure out what these secrets are. Yeah. But like when it's like, when it's like one of these indie games that like you're trying to figure out what like the true meaning of the game is about or something, mm -hmm. then it's like everyone's working together to sort of figure out what things mean. Yeah. Which is really cool. Like PT. Like, or like every, Bloodborne. Or yeah, like when, the, Soul, the first like couple of weeks. Yeah, the, like the, the, the first the first couple of weeks of a Souls game or yeah. like PT. Whenever like you get your community like together, roused to do something, that's cool because they don't know what they're gonna find. Like everyone's exploring together. Yeah. But the, we already know what this is, so it's like I, like I don't care. Like I haven't kept up at all because I'm like, oh, what does this mean? Oh, Sombra's coming. Okay, well I don't care. Yeah. That, <laughs> like she'll be out when she comes out. And she probably is already leaked. Don't force her out of the closet. It's probably unsafe for her to come out. Oh, you're straight. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> but, um, At least, whatever. We're not going to get into that conversation. Nah, like, nah, I'm pretty straight. Okay. Though, though, the, I, I kind of wished I was gay for a little bit because, like, you only get one perspective, and I, I'd like my perspective on life to be as unique as possible. Okay. And being straight is kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's nothing I can do. I can't like will myself gay. <laughs> so you know. You know. Yeah no. But yes, Sombra. <laughs> yes, Sombra though. <laughs> is releasing soon, maybe. Maybe it'll be another couple of months of ARGs. Oh my god. <laughs> I, mean, I hope they're interesting because Yeah. They if they're gonna keep doing that, like I want them to go deeper. <laughs> we need to go deeper. We need to go deeper. Like make me interested. Because now it's like, oh, a random string of numbers. What does it mean, Sombra? That's it. Like, that's it. Yeah, they just need to stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, if it explores... I'm going to talk about this a lot in my article. Yeah. But, like, if it explores the connections that Sombra has with other characters... Yeah. That's, you know, like, maybe there's the full docket on, like, Reaper. Yeah. And, like, everything he's ever done. Maybe that's coded into an ARG. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, yeah. if it, if it, like, if it's more for world building than it is, hey, get Sombra's a hacker, get it? Yeah. <laughs> if it, if it's more of that, if it's like, or okay, like, Sombra really has, has to do with Sombra has dirt on everyone. Yes. Like, imagine that. It's like it tells you the fucked up shit Mercy did. Because it's like a little hint. Like, maybe Mercy is like, might have done something fucked up. Yeah. But uh, like, like say <laughs> if she had information on that. Yeah. Like, that'd be cool. Like the specifics of how she spoilers like literally brought Genji back to life. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of brought Reaper back to life. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. That's science implied, is crazy. Like, damn. <laughs> science, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. But yeah. <sighs> I guess that's all there is to say about that. Yeah, just please. How not to release a character, 101. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long has it been? Like two months? A month and a half? Man, I lost track of time. Yeah. I, I want to say closer to a month and a half. I yeah. think it's been two months. Yeah. Okay, because I know Eleanor said it was two months. Whatever. Um, and then the voice actor strike. Yes. Yep. This is a big thing. This is really interesting. Yeah. Because like, the, the, the weird thing is, like for, the, for a while, I thought voice acting was a cushy gig. No. No. <laughs> 
I actually heard about this from NPR. Believe oh, it or not, yeah. I, I I don't listen to NPR, but I do listen to NPR's Tiny Desk concerts. I'm not going to know about this, but they just have, like, this room with a whole bunch of, like, where they just have, like, all this, like, like uh, musician memorabilia. So, like, you, you you sort of invite, like, just rent, like, really talented musicians, mm -hmm. and the, the musicians, like, uh, they leave, like, one thing to sort of add to the collection. So they have a wall of just, like, of just like thousands of little trinkets That's given so to cool. like get given from like musicians from like such a long time. Just like oh, trinkets. Yeah, it's not like, like a musical instrument or anything. Yeah, I it's mean, it, like it kind of it could kind of be whatever you want it to be. A trinket of importance. Yeah. I want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Like I want to have that be a thing for the live cast. Sorry, yeah. NPR, I'm stealing your idea. That would be. That's cool. actually a great idea. Like, yeah. We just have guests and they leave something of yeah. importance to them. That'd be really fucking cool. Anyways. When we have an office. Yeah. It's, so it's tiny desk concert. They literally, like, they, ha they have a corner of the room, which is the wall, and they put one desk in front of you. And, like, if you're the lead singer, maybe you can stand on it. <laughs> they just, like, everyone in the office just, like, stops working for a little bit, and they just listen to this, like, 10, 15-minute concert. Cool. And all the musicians, no, I mean, I'm not into every genre of music, but, like, yeah. almost all the musicians are, like, really good. And I discovered a lot of, like, just bomb-ass music. That cool. I, I'm going to write that down. Yeah, Tiny Guest Concerts, I recommend it. A um, couple, couple of my favorites are uh, Anderson Pock, Moon Hooch. <laughs> Moon, Moon Hooch is really interesting. They're like a... It's hard to describe. They have a very unique sound. It's like a industrial brass sound. I love it. So it's like... The perfect way to describe it is they have this guy playing a baritone saxophone. Yeah. Where the the horn of the baritone saxophone is, is a uh, traffic cone that sort of like is attached to the hole so the sound is coming out of the traffic cone, which is attached to his neck via uh, police tape. That's really cool. <laughs> so like that, that that sums up their style perfectly. So they okay. have like this very so like, like heavy sound and they, they, they like making disgusting sounds. Like they go like, <laughs> like, and they go wah, 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 wah. They have, like <laughs> it, even some of their songs like it's almost like a like a jazz dubstep type thing. Okay. It's a very interesting sound. Some okay. of the, it gets really nasty That's at moon times. Hooch? Moon hooch. <laughs> the moon and then H O O C H. Yeah. Uh, like like the drink. Yeah. The prison alcohol hooch. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um I learned that from Orange is the New Black. Talk about like the whitest introduction to prison, right? <laughs> I've never actually seen it. I've it's heard it's, it's about a very white main character going to going to prison for like fifteen plus months. <laughs> <laughs> like I think Martha in the first Stewart? episode much. <laughs> I feel like in the first episode, she's like, keep my website updated for me. <laughs> oh my god, free, free, free Becky. <laughs> yep. Hashtag free Becky. Piper. Piper. The whitest piece of bread in that prison. <laughs> oh man. But, um, uh, how do we yeah. get to MPR? Good show. Oh, voice I thought voice acting strike. was a cushy gig. Yep. Because it's like, specifically because like all I've ever heard from voice actors was them talking about how much they love the job and I get like you yeah. can like your job and have shippy garbage speaking of which every game developer <laughs> but um yep. it's uh I didn't th I didn't think things were this bad and yeah. it's really interesting to see because I know like almost like I follow a lot of voice actors even before I started watching Critical Role yeah and um because Critical Role is my main like gateway yeah. to voice actors I guess yeah. And so, like, I've always known them, like, almost all of them to be, like, insanely hardworking, like, crazy yeah. hardworking. Yeah. And so I know they're not, like, being little babies about this. It's so, so, like, if, if they're, like, legitimately bringing up as a thing of concern, I trust yeah. them. Like, through a union. Yeah. Like, that's a big... Yeah, that's the, that's a lot of people deal. complaining. Yeah. And the, one of the, the, the big things I'm, uh, I, like, I'm cool they're going to, or th hopefully they get what they need yeah. and what they want, but, um... I actually have an update from like this afternoon. Ooh, we'll share that later. Yeah. But um, I just hope this. I hope this inspires game devs to do something similar because, yeah. while voice actors have bad conditions, game developers have it even worse. Like your programmers, your artists, they have, mm -hmm. they 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 work like sixty hour minimums a week for like a minimum wage. Yeah, and but they're also paid through with through salary. Yes. So it's like them working the extra hours doesn't get them paid, and it always says like, oh, the extra hours are uh, are optional. But it turns, oh, you didn't do it. Oh, what happened to Jeff? Extra Jeff's hours gone. Are <laughs> yeah. So so they're like literally slaving away yeah. and just be. They they call it the crunch. Like it's like just straight up, just like everyone knows about it. Everyone deals with it, and they're all suffering because of it. Yeah. Which is crazy because there's lots of like 
studies that have gone on and to show that the crunch actually does not work. It makes your yeah, everyone makes less your creative work and you like work worse. slower. Yeah. Yep. So one, it's like it's you're killing people. One, <laughs> and two, cold. you're you're getting less results because of it. So yeah. they're, they're just like one, you're you're overworking your employees. Two, yeah. you're killing them, so there are less people to do the job that you <laughs> yeah. have in the first place. Three, you're making the market in general seem less desirable, so you're not getting like the, 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 the when you, when you when you're super talented and you know what your worth is, you're not gonna work a garbage job yeah. like that. You're like, oh, I could program video games. I know that's my dream and all, but like. I'm not gonna die. I could just do a desk job, and get paid more. And like do video games and on not the side die at my own pace. Yeah, and not die. And like, not, die. not dying is pretty cool. And like make a good <laughs> profit. But yeah, back to the voice actors. Yeah, it's real. It's shitty. Yeah. And like, yeah, it sucks. Like, here's the I have a full list of companies, and like the main issue, well, is like I guess is like paying benefits. Yeah. With any strike, I guess is like the standard. Yeah, one of the things is uh, I, f- I followed. I haven't looked into the details too much. Yeah. Could just, I, I, I did like surface details. Yeah. I one one of the things is I know is that they want like uh, royalties based off how well the game does. Yes. Which is kind of hard, which is iffy because it's, it's hard to do. Like, you, you, you know which games are sold based off the performance. Like, The Last of Us. Last of Us. 100% Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson should get royalties for that game. Mm. They fucking killed it. That game is that game because of them. That game would not like work. Role, Ashley yeah, she's <gasps> Ellie. I never made that connection before today. <laughs> she Holy sounds shit. just like Ellie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, Ashley Johnson is Ellie. Okay. Yeah. I the thought, Last of Us was a while ago, and I didn't oh, even yeah. play it myself. <laughs> I watched a cry play it. But um, so uh, that that game was like 100 percent like. It, s- it, Sold on the voice, not sold on the voice actors, but, but like, it did it well. Helps a lot. Yeah, and so because like, like that's a that's a movie you play through. Yeah, so so like my only question is, and I'm sure the smarter people who are will be doing the negoti- negotiations will answer these questions. Mm-hmm. But it's like, okay, so what about like Fury or something? <laughs> Or yeah. it's like this game is they, like it has voice one acting in it. Doing the voice acting. Yeah, like, not yeah, it's probably less people in it, but like just say a game like Fury, where it's like it's a heavily gameplay, aesthetic, story focused type game that is not necessarily sold on how cool that old dude sounded. He's not giving like a great performance. His bare minimum was to get the lines out, kind of. Yeah. No disrespect to whoever voiced the character, yeah. but it's like you, But like that's not the main focus. Yeah, then that's not the main focus of the game. Like, do they deserve the same royalties? And, I guess because SAG after I've like I've had to deal with you know actors unions and things in yeah. my, like with my work, that's probably a little more detail than I should have gone into. <laughs> but like you know, actors equity and things, um, especially the one that comes to mind is the Stage Directors and Choreographers yeah. Society. Um, what they do is like it's a scale at base, and then I think after a set number of performances or a set number of rehearsals, you get paid like a percentage. Yeah. That's so like after a game passes a certain threshold, you get a percentage of the royalty. Yeah, and I think it that's was, a good way up, to manage it. Yeah, it was like up to a cap of like a certain amount. Yeah. But it, it's still it's still I'm I'm I don't know if there's gonna be like a you decide that like while you negotiate the contract yeah, of the game it's, where it's like this really like you, you, this really like the voice acting isn't like the point of this game. Like Yeah. You just I, you, or will it just be no, cuz like uh, that's weird. Yeah. That, that's for them. To I feel like it. it's one thing doing a hired talent yeah. versus like a hired, you know, character. Does that make sense? I don't really know what you mean. Like, you know, just getting the lines out versus you need to deliver this character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, maybe that's something like when you get hired, they'll negotiate with yeah. you. They'll be like, hey, um, like you're just kind of going to be like a soldier dude who yells. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, we're not going to give you royalties for that. Right. Like, 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 say a Call of Duty game sells super well. It's like, no one gives a fuck about the voice actors in that game. Yeah. And I'm sure, like, you can do, like, and I'm sure they don't care about the characters either, like, the voice actors. Like, uh-huh. they they have certain jobs where it's like, okay, this is the job, and this one's, like, the character that I care yeah. a lot about. So maybe that's, yeah, they'll probably yeah. decide that on there. Um, but so the, yeah. the other thing is... Um, the other, like, one of the big complaints is that they don't really tell you what kind of voice work you'll be right. doing sometimes. So you'll be playing a game, and then they'll be like, oh, we need you to, like, do death sounds, like, 500 times. And it's like, so, so you'll, and, like, when you're, when you're doing a death, like, what, death knell, whatever the hell they call it, it's, uh, depending on the type of character you are, it can be very 
damaging to your vocal cords. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, oh, I don't like that. Can we do it again? It's like, it's like all right, oh, bitch, boy. <laughs> let's wrap it up. <laughs> and so there's not like, there's no like way to like protect voice actors from that because they don't really know going yeah. in. And like, I guess the main difference with like lead singers of bands yeah. is like, first of all, they're fucking babied. If they have like a risk of notes yeah. on their vocal cords, it's like, okay, cancel your next like five concerts, you know, <laughs> just heal up, drink some tea, it'll be fine. But like, voice, it, like they know what they're, they're doing. Yeah. Like it's their songs or like their covers that they've prepared. It's like, you can't like put your voice at risk for something you don't know is going to happen. Yeah. And they do like a lot more, not, not like. I was gonna say a lot like, more work than like a Broadway time, person, but yeah, I will say it can that be probably a lot more intensive. Yeah, yeah. One, it could be a lot more intensive, and two, it's like they do like just a lot more jobs than say like yeah. your standard singer would, because they're like, okay, they come in today, they they couple they record like a couple different games, and they they don't get paid as much as say your standard actor would. So yeah. it's like if they're if they're gone for a week, that's like yeah. that's that's a big week for them, as opposed to an actor who's like I got paid like a huge chunk of money at once. Yep. And like I've been coasting off that for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I could give the numbers, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Numbers is bad. Yep. Numbers is bad. But, but yeah. All I, I can really say is for all the <laughs> all the higher ups who think voice acting isn't that big a deal, you're fucking stupid. Just play. Yeah. Just. Just pl- I don't know. Just play I can, every I can naughty dog game. Which higher ups <laughs> think that that's that's no big deal. <laughs> like I don't like I don't know how the fuck. Yeah, I think there's like eleven companies. One, two, three, four. Wait, I I can't count. <laughs> but yeah, it's Activision, Blindlight, uh, Corpse of Discovery Films, uh, Disney, EA, Formosa Interactive, Insomniac, Interactive Associates, Take Two, VoiceWorks, and WB Games. Are like the main ones. Um, yeah, those are the guys. Like, just like they just that cited like, that are cited in the thing. Okay. The fucking the the flyer for her the strike. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the update that was posted most recently um, was SAG AFTRA still hasn't received a fair offer that would resolve our negotiations. That's directly from SAG AFTRA. Yeah. SAG is like a uh, Screen Screen Actors Guild. And I don't for what is it? hold on. <laughs> what does SAG AFTRA stand for? The Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Okay. <laughs> um mouthful. Um, in response to um, Sam Singers, who's acting as like the spokesperson for the eleven companies that mentioned, um, you know, he was like, Well, you know, whatever. Like, they made some wrong claims, uh, or they didn't, they forgot to claim a couple of things when they were making the, when they were striking. So it's like, oh, okay, we shouldn't, you know, we are not going to give a sufficient offer. Um, And he was quoted as saying, only about 20 to 25% of video games use union talent. So it's, like, not worth their time, I'd assume. Or, like, not worth the reform. But, like... A quarter of video games using unionized talent is still a big portion. Yeah, it's definitely still a big portion, but I could totally see them just going, okay, we'll just use the other 70%. Yeah. Which is shitty, but... Yeah. Why aren't you supposed to help people? (laughs) Goddamn. Yep. (laughs) That's a whole other discussion. (laughs) The union is helping them. No, they're trying to. It's just like... But will they succeed is the answer. Yeah. Like that, like not. I'm not saying like the union is corrupt. I'm saying like unions it's just like they're were getting supposed kicked to, in the face yeah. because corporations don't give a fuck. Yeah, they're 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 supposed to be able to help, but they can't apparently. Yeah, which is super shitty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, for, for hashtag performance matters. I hope everything works out for you guys. Yeah, I really do. Um, so now I guess we got questions. This is gonna be a real short segment because we have two <laughs> questions and two of us. All right. From Facebook, Kennedy, our very own, asks us, if you could get a digital re-release of any game you wanted, what would it be? Meaning, obviously, that it hasn't already had one. I think we've done this question once uh, before. Um, yeah, I think so. I, mean, I think it might have been HD remaster. Yeah. So this is similar. Similar. But but a digital it, re-release? I'll give okay. my same answer I gave for the HD remaster. Super Smash Brothers! <laughs> Melee! But seriously, like... <laughs> That game, the peak, yeah, I know. But the, uh, the, I don't know. 
Me- Melee has like a... It was such a beautiful accident. Yeah, Melee is such a beautiful <laughs> accident. And Melee also has a time limit. Regardless of how popular or big the game becomes, eventually our gamekeepers are going to die. Yeah. And eventually our, or, or just the discs themselves are going to die. And so, and it's not, not going to be a problem anytime soon, but that is a like genuine fear for someday. Yeah. It's like one of the few like competitive games that will actually have that problem. Yep. So we need... We, we need some way to just get it. Yeah, and maybe now that Nintendo's considering eSports, hopefully, hopefully they'll look at it and be like, maybe this is worthwhile. Yeah. And, and wh- I don't, I don't like, foresee it happening, and I'll be insanely surprised, but... Yeah. It, like, I, I, what I want, what I would, would prefer is Melee HD, which is like a... Oh, they got motion lights here. Ooh. But <laughs> what it would be... Oh, oh holy God. shit. Darkness. <laughs> Hold on, let's turn on the lights. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's back. But um, like, cause I would prefer like just to see the game in full, like beautiful glory, because it's like it, you want like Smash Four looking. I want Smash Four melee. looking melee because like it deserves that. It's the longest like played single game outside of like maybe StarCraft One. Although I don't think they play that much anymore. So it's like uh, oh, definitely yeah, we definitely about that last week. yeah definitely the longest running fighting game. But I I don't feel confident saying the longest running esport. Yeah. But um. Wait, Diablo? Diablo's not an eSport. Never mind. <laughs> it is a... Blizzard does have a lot of, like, uh... I'm just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... <laughs> um... Uh-huh. What the fuck was that? Melee, Melee HD remaster. But, like, it deserves it. There's yeah. a reason so many people it love does. the game. And, like... And I'm not being like, oh yeah, Melee was such like the best, and no Smash game has been great other than that. But like, it was very good. Yeah, and it's like we're already seeing that like Melee, like so Smash Four is coming. It's definitely growing, but it's like growing at a slower rate than Melee. And considering it's the newest release, you would think that it would overtake Melee. You'd think that it would explode. Yeah, but it didn't. Melee is still the top for a reason. Yep. There might there might have been like more interests in like Evo or something, but it's like. What has the hearts and souls of the people is Melee. Yeah. And Smash 4 gotta, is a perfectly fine game. you got to pay attention to what your community wants. Yeah. And so, like... And then you got to deliver. You can't just, like, listen and be like, hmm. Yeah, we made, we made a good <laughs> game, like, 16 years ago. It's like, all Nintendo has to do... Because all I want all I want is the best for Nintendo because they have some of the best, like, developers under their wing. Yeah. So I just want them to keep making great games. And for that, they need money. And the best and easiest way to make money is to just take Melee... Make it look pretty as fuck. Yep. And then release it for modern consoles. Boom, sold. Release it for the Switch. Release it for the Switch. I'm pretty sure it's got USB adapters, so yep. we can use the Smash 4 adapter, and mm-hmm. then everyone can. Everyone's happy. Yeah, and then everyone, like, tell me, okay, so, okay, well, not to mention people buying Melee HD. Imagine how many people are gonna buy Switch when they can play Melee HD. Yep. I mean, like imagine like the imagine esports. That trickle down economics. Yeah, the trickle. Like, <laughs> like imagine the like the like the esports community switching over to Melee yeah. HD, which would mean they would all need switches. Yep. Which might make it switching. Get it? They, they might need to switch to the switch, which might you know make it take a little bit, but eventually they will switch to Melee HD. Yeah. And they could make so much money. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be easier. It'll be more accessible to stream. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a huge one too. Yep. <laughs> oh wait, will it? Oh yeah. It's Does totally the Switch have full HDMI, like with the dock, or well, that's yeah, that, that's that, specification that, we haven't gotten to. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, I jumped the gun. It's probably st- it'll, I, I can't see it be harder than than a streaming something off a of GameCube, but yeah. Well, yeah, GameCube is like tricky. Yeah. With some capture cards, I know I don't like to do it because um, my Elgato. No, I don't have an Elgato. My <laughs> Aver Media, the same fucking thing. Um, doesn't like. It has the component input, but it doesn't like the the RCA inputs, even when I do that. Anyway, um, if I could get a digital re-release of any game I wanted, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, it took me. She she asked me something similar, and uh, like when we just chill in the room, and it took me forever. And yeah. like the couple things I said, like actually already had digital re-releases. Yeah. Like, I, like my first reaction was Dark Cloud. I guess for. Dark Cloud is not, it's a, it's an action RPG. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess for, like, the Switch, I would want, uh, 
a re a, a, like a digital remake of uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf <laughs> with like updated features. Yeah. Because I feel like aside from Warframe, because I I played Warframe at a low point. I realized <laughs> <laughs> it was just yeah something to get your mind off. Yup, something that just like to occupy my time. I played Animal Crossing at like a really high point in my life, and I put hundreds of hours into that game. Animal Crossing makes me so happy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I I want to be able to, like, have it fully featured on the go. Yeah. And, I, like, that's kind of what New Leaf is. Yeah. But I, yeah. I could see, like, them just making a new, uh, a new Animal, Animal Crossing, Crossing game. Because it, like, the, the cool thing about New Leaf was that Animal Crossing was now mobile, which is what it always, like, sh- it what always been. destined to be. Yeah. And now the Switch does both. <laughs> so yeah. it's just, like... You could you can go in your house looking on your beautiful HD TV with yeah. your 4K resolution. And especially like a lot of people who I know who play Animal Crossing are super into like town customization, and make it look pretty as fuck. Yeah. Like I am too, uh, more so because of RAM hacking, which I haven't done in a while, and I need to brush up on again to start playing again. You know, yeah. it's like a little bit of a gateway drug to Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, but you know, I want to make my town look nice. What I would love to see. I talked about this briefly in another article I did recently. But, like, I want to see multiple, like, so many more slots for patterns. Like, I want to have a full path thing separate from, like, all my clothes patterns. (laughs) Separate from, like, the patterns I want to use on my furniture. (laughs) Uh, Like, give me me hundreds, I've never never actually played uh, any... uh... Animal Crossing game, but I did play My Sims for the Wii. It's this game where you build furniture and you make houses and stuff. Yep. And I will don't admit, just, don't just come like, yeah, they just yeah. Come, I, like they I, I will admit, that's like that's like like Mama's first Animal Crossing. Yep. <laughs> so I, I get the appeal. I really do. So, so yeah. What's the next question? Uh, next question comes from Colin on Twitter. It's our last question. Um, what's a video game soundtrack that you could listen to over and over again? <laughs> All right, so. Have you been around me at all, Colin? <laughs> it's Hotline Miami, Hotline Miami, Hotline Miami, Hotline Miami, Fury, Hotline Miami, Miami. Two. <laughs> uh, two is not so great. Uh, yeah, there, are some, there are some good ones. Yeah. It's very different. But, like, Hotline Miami is my fucking jam. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's... Uh, um, <clears throat> Sonic Adventure 2. Really? <laughs> I fucking love the Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> so Sonic Adventure 2 has so many good tracks. Like, I love literally every single Rouge stage is my oh. shit. Literally yeah. all of them. Like, her main theme is great and all. Like, I always I always say it's, I always talk it up. But, like, just every, just, like, all of her stages have this really cool, like, female spy, like, yeah. jazzy sort of Damn. feel to it. And it's just, like. That femme fatale. Yeah, she's like a femme fatally. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it's. I am a real fan of a femme fatale. Being yeah. a femme myself. Like, I, I, I almost never hear it. Like, I remember when I was a kid, like, femme fatale was thrown around all the time. Yeah. But, like, I almost never see it that much anymore. Like, even just, like, yeah. see it as a trope. Like, yeah. it's, I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's because fucking feminists are ruining all our media. That's why I don't <laughs> have any anymore. Yeah, it's like... Put girls in everything. Yeah, it's like, femme fatales was, like, that was, like, the first strong woman for me. It was yeah. like the the one who used their specific talent <laughs> to to get what they needed. The sexy. Yeah, the sexy. The sexy. <laughs> Which yeah, is... I feel that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we currently do not have now. time for that. Nope. Next podcast. Next podcast. <laughs> but yeah. I completely forgot what the question was. Oh, soundtrack. Soundtrack. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2, 100% of the time. I love the fucking butt rock. I can listen to Live and Learn all the time. <laughs> I fucking love Pyramid. I love fucking... But what about his world? Pumpkin Hill Zone. <laughs> Pumpkin Hill Zone's good. <laughs> you know it's that fighting freak Knuckles. You ready? <laughs> but, um, I yeah, I, I adore everything about that game. All the songs are just, like, burnt into my head. Like the chow music, you the chow races. Of time. I did spend a lot of time the in that game. Too, didn't you? But like, also, I, I genuinely think it's like one of the best soundtracks in gaming. Yeah. Like I, I gave it like top five, probably. Yeah, it's good. Other I haven't, games. I haven't spent enough time with it to like appreciate it. I don't think. Yeah. But like, especially now that like, as I've been getting recent news over this past week, <laughs> 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 um, like, Hotline Miami is just the music I like to listen to. Yeah. So, I'm gonna keep doing it. And Fury. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing. 
And um, Fury Furies. An, an, another, I, I don't listen to the soundtrack, say, all the time, but it is like the perfect, um, perfect, like, fantasy writing music, particularly if you like fucked up dark fantasy like I do. It is listening to the Bloodborne soundtrack. Yes. Literally, while, literally, every time I, I'm writing d and I just put on the Bloodborne soundtrack. Yeah. It is so fucking intense and, like, claustrophobic. It is That's just, like... That's a really good way to distra- describe it. <laughs> And it, 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 it just it just makes me think of like how to best mess with my players in, in the best of ways. Yeah, and it's. it's I appreciate it's, that. Yeah. Thank you for giving us a challenge, even though I almost die every, <laughs> every fucking time. time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trope. Because like 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 fighting is definitely one of the lower points of D and D. Yeah. But um, it, and if it's easy fighting, then it's even like it's even a bigger waste of time. Yeah. Because if there's no chance of death. I like I like the fighting in D and D. Yeah. A little bit more than I think the average. Yeah, I like I like it too, but it like I I I I like it because it feels necessary. Like I don't I don't want to play. Like I, I like the concept of playing in a world where you don't fight because role playing is definitely the best part. Yeah. But um, I I want to be someone who fights for something. Yeah. <laughs> or like, I don't know. That's so that's so different from Shadowrun. Yeah. Because like you're the hero in D and D basically. Yeah. You're U- not usually a, usually, like, in a Shadowrun I think. There's a burden on GMs to make it so that your players are not the heroes of your story. <laughs> they're just expendable and they're getting a job done. Yeah. Which, you know, yeah, it has it, its merits. Yeah, I mean... It, so I guess, like, combat is a little more important because, like, it's a more of a plot device. I guess. Even though, way. like, it's better to avoid it. Yeah, it's, um... Maybe I'm just talking to my ass. It, Out of my ass. It's, like, combat it's in these games are just kind of, like... The, it, it, more so than a lot of things, it's a, you get as much as you put in. Yeah. Like for example, like if every for all the people who play like Dungeons and Dragons stuff, the best thing you can do to make combat more interesting is to just describe how you attack. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's just like then it becomes like oh we were we were all role playing together and then now we're playing a game. Mm-hmm. This is the game part of it. Yeah. <laughs> but so when you describe your attacks, like my guy is like a dwarf, like my my main character is a dwarf who has like a huge a huge fucking ego so like every time I fight just describe like how he's just like is like f- like filled with confidence and it's just like almost humiliating the enemies he's <laughs> fighting while he fights yeah and that just adds so much more character and memorability to the to the fight because say if I fuck up after trying to show off then everyone's gonna remember then you, that then you gotta react <laughs> yeah. yeah and not to mention that it even adds like a couple of like just knowing your character adds um can even like benefit you from like a mechanic standpoint for example something if you guys listened to the 3.5 last week, the, the, the podcast point five last yeah. week, what, something... Minor correction, I forgot about limits. So you were not supposed to one-shot that guy. Okay. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, I don't know, maybe your limit is really high because you are a prime runner. You were a prime runner. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway. But one, one of the things I was... I, I like that you did was... um. I mentioned how I had knowledge of like fashion or something, yeah. and you you allowed me to add that to my perception roll or something, yeah. which is great because it it gives the it adds sort of like player agency to the thing. I was rewarded for paying attention to what was on my character sheet yeah. and executing like just stuff like that. It, it could be like okay, I'm trying like I'm like I'm I try not- to do that if people notice. Yeah, it's just like so many people don't read their character sheets. Yeah, and like so like you even feel this. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. So it's like when. Like so, e- even if you are like a like a, you care about like winning and like min maxing and stuff like that. You can min max more by role playing, ironically, because yeah. like, for example, say you're you're doing your three attacks as your as a barbarian, and you sort of like you you go into more detail and mention how menacing and and sort of like violent you want to make the attack. Say the GM feels inspired and he says, "All right, roll an intimidation check, just a free intimidation check that you never would have gotten if yeah. you just said I attack three times." So. I don't know how the fuck we got here, but I love role playing games. <laughs> Bloodborne soundtrack. Bloodborne soundtrack is great for writing D and D. Great for writing any like tense situation, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, upcoming still are in like we're both doing series for this. Uh, they're in the works still, still in that like world building phase. Yes. I'm just waiting for everyone to finish up their characters. I will get started on that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's mostly like contacts and things. Yeah. Because in Shadowrun, you know, I 
I like having contacts be an entry point. Yeah, that's that, that's one story. of my cool things. Like that, that's like half the reason I do. Uh, or I like to have people have backgrounds stories. Yeah. So, so I can, you like, can, pick so you and can choose. Yeah, so you can use characters from their past. And yeah. contacts is like a, a mechanical way to give to, people a past. Yeah. Almost, even if they don't want to write a backstory. Yeah. Um, and it's like a lot of it is how you do like get jobs and stuff. Yeah. It's like there are certain things you have to have for being a shadow runner, like a weapons dealer or someone who actually gets you jobs. You know, like maybe you have interacted with the person who actually gives you the job. Yeah. Like instead of the person who sets you up like a few times and you know them by name. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, those series will be out as soon as possible. We're still trying to work out a lot of things. Yeah. We're, 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 pr- primarily, I'm waiting for like a, we get like a good space a for it. Yeah, like space. a schedule and a space for it. Yeah. Because I want to kind of do it like, like at least weekly. Yep. And so that would be real nice. Yeah. We'll probably release them like every, like on opposite weeks, yeah. but like record them all at the same time. Maybe we'll live stream recording them too. I feel like that would be cool. Yeah, maybe. But, or we could, and if we don't end up yeah. live streaming it, we could. Well, not, why are we having logistics <laughs> here? But, um, well, one other thing is, um, our boy Colin, he's currently writing uh, 13 articles. Yeah, 13 known Days as of Castlevania. The 13 Days of Castlevania. And they're, it's actually been really good. He actually yeah. goes... He sent I, us that video game soundtrack question. So yeah, he sent us segue. that. And it's like, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how he was able to do it. He was able to write yeah. so much I in such like, a short amount of time. I can't even write one a week. Yeah. Like, I'll start, and I'll get halfway through, and I'm like, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> we need to stop. Like, yeah. even this one about Sombra that I'm writing that I have to now finish because I said, said it. it on the podcast. <laughs> yep. like, like Trapped. <laughs> like, I'm just talking out my ass the entire time. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I fucking hate that Blizzard is doing this. <laughs> I hate that I'm clickbaiting the article. Like, like Sombra? ARGs? So what? What's a, what even is an arg? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I kind of like hate myself, and I know I'm gonna look back on it and fucking cringe. Yeah. I, I guess that, like that, that's something I've accepted a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I look back on literally, literally all everything. Of my old writing literally and everything. Like like even everything the, I've ever the done. assignments that I did for school, college, and like did very well on. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have written about that. Yeah. The, the way I, the way I always look at it is if I'm cringing at the shit I did, like, even, like, a month or two ago, then that means I'm growing, you Yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. That means I already have better standards for myself. Yeah. Which is, which is good. Yep. Speaking of good, this is the end of the podcast. Yep, what a great place to end. <laughs> what a great um, place to end. We'll have a bonus episode this week. Greg is going to DM some D&D. So if you like... Spoopy. If D&D. you like this upcoming bonus and the one before it, that's what the series is going to be. TLC, D&D. And... <laughs> TLC S D R S R five. All right. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. you'll probably see us grow as DMs a lot. Yeah. GMs. Yeah, get get ready for cringe and mistakes, but eventually we will all become dope players. Yep. And At least games. I learned how to do combat before that bonus episode. Yep. Forgot about limits, but you know, yeah. the combat was. We, we got like ninety five percent of combat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, (laughs) Combat's really confusing. All right. Bye, everybody. Peace.